Hello and welcome, this is Spadget Sims and today we're back on the farm with Anthony. <laughs> As ever, I'm not great with my mouse or <laughs> moving around the game. So he's um, hovering in the air there because uh, where we left him last he was just about to get up and get dressed so I just caught him changing into his uh, everyday clothes um, and paused it quickly. So um, it looks like he wants to go and grill some chicken chimichurri skewers and seeing as he's hungry I'm gonna let him do that so there we go <laughs> press play so um so he's going outside to do that and I guess after that we'll check on the crops the chickens on beige be the llama uh, see how everything's getting on make sure his needs are taken care of and then we'll have a look into his um, errands that he's got to do and his aspiration. Um, he also is kind of wants to find someone to share his life with because it's a bit lonely. He's got this big house and he is, oh, it's because of his traits, isn't it? Um, traits, traits, traits. Yeah, he is family orientated. So he's happy around family members becomes sad if he doesn't interact with family um, for a period of time and he can boast about family so I mean he doesn't have any family so I feel like that's a bit cruel so he basically I just want him to be able to start a family with someone but it's been a bit tricky for him uh, finding anyone this is good like that looks like yeah excellent quality food it's sparkling so um, when he's finished then he can put that away. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, if I tell him to put it away, I don't want him to stop eating. Oh, look, he's really happy. I would be. It looks really cool. Good job, Anthony. Is he just thinking about himself? Okay. Right, put that away. Oh, so he's happy that he's had some a delicious dish. Uh, and then, where's the bin? Oh, it's there. Can I drag that plate into the bin for him? Okay, cool. I just so wish washing up and that was that easy in real life. Um, although I don't think everyone would be impressed if I just threw away <laughs> all of the plates. Right, okay, so yeah, he does need to go to the loo, so <laughs> it's a good job he knows how to look after himself, because, you know, I'm being a bit rubbish here. Okay, so he is on the loo, so let's have a look at his... Wee! Okay, so Beige B is asleep, so we'll let him... Oh, the chickens are up. Hi, chickens! They're sl slightly dirty, so let's clean the coop. And then we can scatter feed, scatter feed, collect eggs. They're all doing some kind of synchronized chicken dance there. Um, yeah, they're saying that they're slightly dirty. Eggs ready to collect, 11. Super vitality fertilizer. I should put a bin, shouldn't I, near the... Uh, Hey Fox, what are you doing? Oh, hey Beige B. Ah, oh, Beige B's looking good. Wow, very happy, clean, full content. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy another one of these bins to put uh, in here with the chicken coop because I feel like that's like that's quite annoying, isn't it? So, uh, where are we? Appliances. There we go. Bin. If we put it. Just put it there. Inside. We want a different colour one for this one. Uh, we can have a brown one. Right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's that done. How is the chicken coop? All right, he's just about to collect the eggs. Ah, huh? cool. So he's collecting the eggs. I didn't. Um, has he already got? Oh, he's got all sorts in here. A coconut. 
the stuff that I didn't remember buying. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Oh, he's got a green egg. Nice. Okay, um, so... I want to... What's he doing now? Having a nap already? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, right, well, Anthony, can you look after your... Hmm, encourage crop growth. What does that do? Fertilise. Um... Okay. Let's uh, <laughs> turbo chickens, right? Uh, encourage crop growth. Encourage crop growth. Encourage crop growth. So that's watermelon, aubergine, pumpkin, and then fertilize with that super vitality that we just got, and then. Fertilise with hassle free. Am I allowed to do hassle free and uh, super vitality? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. We'll just fast forward him doing his gardening. Uh, oh, he's unlocked the outdoorsy lifestyle. Oh, let's just see if there's any, uh... Oh. Oh, it's active. Um, right, so various benefits when doing outdoor activities. Prefers to be outdoors. Increased work performance in outdoor careers. Tense when spending too much time inside. So we just need to make sure that he's not inside too much. So that he doesn't get tense. Although, he shouldn't get tense because he's carefree, should he? Oh, okay, so he's whinging because I told him to encourage crop growth on each of them, but he did the whole thing. So that's fine. Uh, I don't think he will be able to put the carefree on the pumpkins. No, he can't. Okay. <laughs> Right, don't clean out spoiled food yet. Just deal with Beige Bee briefly. What? Where's he? Just pulled some dirty plates from. Don't put it on the rabbit home. Um, right, that's a bit better. I'm just going to pause you a minute, Anthony, because, you know. <laughs> hey, Beige Bee. Um, talk about Llama Economics. We can give you a treat. A. Oh, what is his lifespan? Oh. Oh, no, that's just how. Oh, I don't think we get to know that. So his attention is okay. Oh, he's only a young adult. I think maybe because I've got aging off, it doesn't. I don't know whether. All right, we'll give him a friendly treat. Feed him. May as well clean the shed and clean beige bee. Um, socialize. Hug him. And yeah, I think, can we shear him? Oh my God, what do we trade for? Oh, that's very cruel. Uh, and then sheer beige bees wall. Okay, let's do some beige bee things. Festival of Youth has started. Okay. So this should be increasing his social. I mean, exactly. He's just been hugging him. Right, okay, so he's got all of that stuff. Um, can I? I can't just um, hire staff. 
Okay. <laughs> um, I want to make sure my eggs don't go off. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. So I think the only things that can go off are my eggs. So put those in. What's that? Pomegranate, spine, apple. Yeah, all of those things are okay. Not in the fridge, so that's okay. Um, okay, so he could do with a quick shower and then get some sleep. Because then I would like him to... Well, he's done all of his farming duties. I want him to see, like, the only person he seems to get on with properly um, was Felix. Like, Kim, maybe. Sarah's married. Kim, I'm not sure. She's interested in the creature keeper, so... I want to see if Felix is, like, available, because... No one else seems to be. How are you hungry already? Oh, and 9pm? Okay. Well, if you can go to the loo there and then get some leftovers from your beautiful pink fridge. And then you should be good to go out to the pub because... Well social is your only thing that you're really doing bad with. The days go so quickly. I mean, it was really early this morning when he got up and like, and already he's, it's like nearly bedtime. So, uh, he's going to play in the water. No, Anthony, please. Can we go travel? Um, Oh, maybe he should travel with Felix to the pub in case he's not already there. I'd like them to get to know each other better just to see if there is anything maybe between them. Um, and if there isn't, then I need to make a lot more effort with um, Felix. Uh, not just with Felix. Uh, well, you know, if there's nothing there, there's nothing there. But I mean need to make a lot more effort generally to get him a family. Oh, it's guys night. Gentlemen Sims can saunter up to the bar for discount drinks. So, heartfelt compliment. Most about family. Well, he doesn't have share close knit tips. Okay. Are you okay, Felix? What's up? You're tense. You normally tense. I mean, why is it that you're tense? I can't remember how much we know about him. Felix. Open sim profile. Okay, so he's unemployed. Um, we don't know if he's even single, so we should probably ask that just in case. Bright and day. Felix definitely needs something to make him like feel less stressed, less tense. I mean, he's not doing great, is he? Felix, you okay? Oh, he seems to be cheering up. Oh, he's happy now. That's a good sign. So Anthony seems to be good for him. Uh, yeah, Felix is single. Cool. Okay. Let's, um, oh wow. What technological apocalypse was that? Okay. Um, get to know. Discuss interests. And then, discuss dark techniques. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Take pictures. It's in the thing. Take photo of Felix. Okay. Let's do all of these things. 
Oh, he's active. That's not a great picture. Can I get him to... <laughs> no. Some of these pictures. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, take a picture with him. Oh, lifestyle spread. Oh, and he had a great conversation sharing his lifestyle. Sometimes the best way to enjoy a lifestyle is to share that joy with others. See, he really enjoys sharing things with Felix. I knew it. I knew it. Right. Uh, let's have a look at. Take a photo with Felix. Okay. We'll do that. Oh, don't chat with Sari yet. Oh. Who's that? Atticus. <laughs> nice hat. Uh, Anthony. Oh, you're coming back out. Good. Hello, I don't know who you are. Oh, that's nice. Felix just became good friends with Anthony. That was a cool little tune, wasn't it? Oh, okay. How are his needs? Oh, really good. And his socials up. Well, I think it's time to find out if there is anything um, really between them. So, ask on a date, hopefully. No, no option here. So, is it, is, uh, why? Why is it that I can never find what I want? And it's almost like these things don't even exist. Can you do it from here? Uh, travel. No. Uh, why? Hug. Confess attraction because I think he is attracted to him. And then look, why can't he ask him on a date? Oh, does he have to have a little bit of pink? Uh, okay. Ask on a date. Hooray! And then we can see how that goes. And if it goes really badly, then it's fine. Oh, what does it say? Oh, he likes retro music. I need my notification thing. Um, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Oh, see, it's really sweet. I do think they like each other. I don't like kind of trying to force relationships. Traveling with Lucas and friends. Oh, no, it's just Felix, right. Uh, where shall we go on the date? Um... It'd be nice to go somewhere where they can just, um, like, just sit and chat and things. We'll just go to the Hair and Hedgehog Cafe, I think. I've not been there for a long time. We'll just see. It's nice to go somewhere with dis different surroundings, just see how, you know, how it is. Hi! Right, okay, so they're all ready. Oh, that's a cool outfit. Oh, I do like his shoe choices. And he does have some cool outfits. I do quite like Felix. Right, um, 
But does Anthony like him? That's the thing. Oh, look how happy he is. Love it. Right, okay. So, it does say that they should sit, like, sit and talk. Right, sit together. <laughs> and then hopefully sit and talk with your date will be... Because hopefully they're going to talk. Um... Bright and day. <laughs> Ask about day. The heartfelt compliment. Express admiration. Oh, scary vampire in there. Um. Oh. Okay, guys. How will Vina's office? You not be Stulane? Oh, uh, right. Uh, complain about technological apocalypse. I mean, it sounds a bit flat earther to me, so we'll see whether Felix can tolerate that or whether he's just like, mm, complain about the cold. Because we want someone who can cope with him at his worst as well as at his best. So he may as well be himself. Tell your date a story. Oh, tell a dramatic story. Yeah, may as well. <laughs> Shabini. He's got really big eyes, Kajul. like when he's <laughs> like expressive and stuff. I don't know. He's an interesting chap. And then we need, do need to do some flirting and see how that goes. Uh, see how that lands. Um, right, we do need to have deep conversations. Aww. That seemed nice. Uh, ask a risque question. Um, we may as well keep it happy as well. And, right, deep conversation, deep conversation, deep conversation. Is that there as an option? <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, there. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I mean, you'll know by now if you watch my videos that I am quite the noob. Uh, okay, so... Oh, hang on. Was that that he was evil, then? He's evil. Hmm. But, I mean, they seem very happy together. So... And I've done all the flirting that we need to because we've got one queued up there. So we need to do another deep conversation. Deep conversation. There it is. Uh, flirt with your date while flirty. Well, I mean... Maybe you'll be flirty if... Right, well, let's become best friends then and then have their first kiss. Because it does seem to be going well. I think that'll be alright. They're so good. They're both sitting with their feet under that bit of the table. And then... Um... Right, let's see how this goes. Did we read the situation wrong? No, I think this is a success. Aww. Oh, that's really nice. Well, he's still not flirty, so I don't think we can uh, do that. Exchange numbers. I don't think we could do that last bit, but we've got a gold rating anyway. Yeah, definitely exchange numbers, because... Oh, they even did a little blow in his kiss thingy at that. Oh, these two are really cute together. Oh! <laughs> I don't know what we have to do to make them, like, the family. Um, suave kiss. Oh, he's very confident now. Well, we may as well do that. I don't think he's going to get flirty at any point. Uh... So do we know him properly now? Oh, we've got sentiment as well. Let's have a look. So, oh, he's active, evil, and squeamish. <laughs> Creepy crawlies, vomiting, violence, and death make him nauseated and uncomfortable near anything dirty. 
uh, okay they're deeply connected and that's nice okay and then what um Skuma what were Anthony's <laughs> traits? Why did I just click on that? Foodie family oriented. Okay. I kept thinking he is active. He's not active, but he is outdoorsy, so it's fine. They can do outdoors things together. Um, well, I think that went well. Uh, can they be like boyfriend and girlfriend? Or are they not? Um, a bold pickup line. Yeah, I think we kind of done everything that we can. Oh, give romantic gift. I'm sure I've got some flowers. Not pile of discarded food. Um, oh, there we go. A tulip. A daisy. Oh, a rose. Yeah, we'll give him a rose. Was that a rose? That Was that anything to do with the creature keeper and Kim? I don't know. Well, this seems more appropriate. Well, he's got a thumbs up. But, oh, we did that as well. Cool. Ask about love life. Oh, he's given him the rose back again. Well, maybe he knows that we need it for a task. Uh, kiss your date passionately. Passionately. Is that an option? It doesn't appear to be, but if we just kiss anyway. See, that looks relatively passionate to me. But, I mean, what do I know? Um, romance. Why can't we kiss passionately? Man. Quimble Reginu. Why not? Do a sexy pose. <laughs> I just want to get to the... Oh, ask to be boyfriend. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Offer Rose, may as well. We'll pretend that the gift that they just gave each other wasn't a rose. Uh, why can't we kiss him passionately? <laughs> do we need a higher romance score? Oh, now they've got a big rose. It's different. Be enticing. Okay. Does that mean you get to have a passionate kiss? Blow a kiss. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, passionate kiss. Come on, we're trying to max out this date. Ah. Oh. Okay, that is definitely more passionate than uh, what they did before. <laughs> okay. Um, are we not getting the gold thing? Oh yeah, we are. Cool. We've done everything. Okay, so we've got more sentiments. Uh, lovers, best friends, boyfriend, jamtastic gift. <laughs> oh bless them. They're so cute. Okay. Um, oh, we're still quite green on things, but it is like something in the morning. What's going on? Oh, okay. I mean, can we ask him to move in already? Or is that a bit too much? Uh, like, I don't want to propose just yet. Because, well, maybe I do. Maybe that's... I mean, things are going well. I like that he has all this money and then they've gone to this cafe and not spent anything. Aww. Hi. Aww, that's nice. Did he say no? <gasps> Did he honestly just say no? Hang on. Right, hang on. 
Whoa, hold on, this is so sudden. We just shared our first kiss and now you want to get married? What's the rush? Let's enjoy the moment. We can think about marriage again later. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Anthony. That was my fault. But he's still very confident. He's been rejected. And he had an awkward encounter, but he's... Why is he fired up? Oh, because he's been talking to a physically active sim. Okay. Well, he doesn't seem to feel too bad about everything, and the date's over now. You know what, Felix? I like you. You're sensible. You're stopping me rushing into things and being ridiculous. Um, okay, can we, like, say goodbye nicely? As in, like, just hug? Uh, right, embrace... And then go home. There seems to be no hard feelings. He's just like, don't rush into things. It's not like a rejection. That seems okay. Oh, and he's running home. I mean, I think that's quite a long way. How do you not better get on your bike? Well, we've done uh, just over 24 hours, we'll say that, and, and then a little bit more. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here. I think we've made a lot of progress. No progress at all on his, uh, all that stuff and that stuff. Um, but he has a boyfriend now. He's going out with Felix and that is definitely a step in the right direction to getting his family. I think, yeah, he's just a bit sort of biological clock ticking, isn't he? So um, that's why he wanted to kind of propose straight away. But maybe Felix will propose to him later and it will mean more then. What is Felix's surname out of interest? Oh, Maldonado. Cool, that's better than Lucas, isn't it? So maybe he can take Felix's surname as well if they get married. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. And, um, yeah, maybe next time we can get Felix to move in. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't done already. And be excellent to each other. Bye-bye.